Caught you slipping, caught you slipping. There we go, there we go. No more. Let's go around the block real quick. Do you want to go on a walk around the block? Come on. Or it's too hot. Yeah, it's miserably hot out there. We're not doing this today, sir. You can go out there, but I'm not leaving the door, bro. It's fucking like 100 degrees. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck? Oh, yo. I'm gonna grab these shoes. Brad's here with the car, and then I'm gonna run down there, but I wanna get. Is there anything else you have? Just started the combo with the exercise equipment thing. I basically said, here's what our deal is. And then I was like, you know, if you have some interest, in, I'll read you what I said, but I was like, if you have some interest, I'll send you, like, I want I'd love to share with you the tweets and the stories. You know, let me know if this is even something you guys do. No? no. Approach you with the whole thing? Yes. Why would you ask somebody to hit you back? Why, why would that be your method of a pitch? A pitch is not to fucking call me back. A pitch is a pitch, like straight up, here's all the information. Like you should be working with us. Not like, hey, if you guys do, let me know. Well, I did say you should be working with us. I just said I'd love to share it. I'll read it to you. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. I wanted to get the combo started. Yes, you're saying we should have stepped up with the whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter, the email's already sent, it's fine. I'm just saying it's not a great pitch. It's not a great pitch to be like, if you do this, hit me back. Because your pitch is to make them do something. Your pitch is to like get them, your, the call to action is the fucking, that's it. Oh, it's like being like sending me a DM like, hey man, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Don't do that. Like just ask me the fucking question because I don't have a lot of time. I'm not gonna be like, yeah man, sure. And then I gotta sit there and wait. Like people try to do this stupid slow intro. Like we're not girls at bars. You don't gotta like, and I'm not mad. I'm just no, I don't. giving you the game. Like you just, a pitch is a pitch. You know you sell vacuum cleaners door to door, dog. You know how you get in every house? You know how you get in every single house? I was on the cover of a vacuum sales magazine for being the top I'm not even lying. Though. I'm just laughing because I want to fuck. see that magazine. My mom has it. Please, you gotta sign it. You got Marty Summer? That's the next t shirt. So, straight up, the whole pitch was a lot of people would bring things to the door and do these stupid things like Coke or Pepsi, and people would be like, Coke. All right, how about I come in and clean your carpets or some shit like that? Like, that shit was super whack. We had these vacuum cleaner hand car dusters that plugged into your thing. They gave us those to give away. And yeah, we had these car duster things, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, yeah, I'm not interested. I was like, look, I'm not interested either. I give this to you. I come in and clean a little section of your car. But they give me credit, they help me pay off my tuition. That's it. I don't care if yeah. I sell a vacuum cleaner at all. Which is not true. I wasn't in college. I didn't have a tuition. I gave a yeah. huge fuck if I sold the fucking shit. But, all right, cool. I get in the house. I, the vacuum cleaner is a good vacuum. There is that fact that it worked really well. And they yeah. Had, oh, yeah. They had play shit that really proved your points. That was easy. But really, I just got in there and was like just myself. I'd make jokes, be charismatic, whatever. I had a couple of little hustles like towards the end to close the deal. I got into every house and I sold like 65 vacuum cleaners in a month like I that's the first time I ever made real money I'm gonna get a check for like six thousand dollars and be like I'm fucking rich oh my girl I was like ah. you know their yeah. parents hated me I was like yeah did your mom make six grand this week bitch yeah. meanwhile I didn't make any money for 52 weeks before that yeah. so like yeah. like yeah so like pitching people was just about the suspending the idea of selling that really was, was what it was like if I try to sell you something that doesn't work if I just come in and show you something that works it's like hey look this is fucking cool and they're like oh shit this is cool and they're like hey you're funny Hey. Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, that's my, that's how I sell my website, see? But so I don't think, change it for anything. Just be yourself all times. Like, just approach it like you'd approach anybody. If you were talking to your so. friend, if you are talking to your friend, explaining, like, you'd be like, yo, check this out. Look at all these kids' tweets that say this, or look at the people that say this. You wouldn't be like, hey, can I tell you about the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to 
approach it just like that. That's all. No, I guess you're right. I mean, it's weird because like better face to face too. That's, that's what I'm saying with the websites. Like I was at a bar the other night. I'm talking to the bartender, just bullshitted, telling her about YouTube, telling her about everything. Then I'm like, you know, I'm really good with it. I said, I'm not even trying to sell you anything. I said, I'm totally happy with everything I'm doing. I'm just letting you know if you need help. And then when you approach it like that, everything in life, dude. Yeah, girl. Because she literally. Started. That was the end of it. I had to, we're walking out the door. She's like, hey, listen, send me an email. Like, I'd like to hear from you. And I was yeah, like, nobody oh, likes to be sold. All you need to do is implant a good idea, be confident in your skills, and have the skills to back it up, and then let's like move forward. But Don't that's, worry, there's other weight machines. There are, I'm not worried about yeah. it. I'm just saying that you give, if you give people the opportunity, if you get one shot, be rabbit shit, present all this information in a quick, digestible way, they have no reason, but they, they're like, holy shit. But if someone's like, hey, can I ask you a question, essentially? It's like, it just an extra email is an extra yeah. time, you just don't need it. Probably kill half the deals you're trying to make. Like, yeah. Just approach them with your cock out, dude. Like, yo, here it is, let's measure it. Yeah. Something you want to do? All right. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. If not, I'm on to the next. I like it. So for the record, if you got a question for me and you DM me, just ask the question. Don't you don't ask if we're gonna ask a question, because you just did ask the question. Do you think we should name the podcast the Hidden Podcast? I like that name. And I think it'll be cool because when people find out about it for no reason, they'll be like, why is it called the Hidden Podcast? It's all over the place. And they'll be like, well, at first it was hidden in a vlog. Yeah. I like that, the Hidden Podcast. Our logo be like two characters in a video game that are blacked out, not unlocked yet. We'll do three on Marvel Unit. One thing I want to do moving forward is, one, we need to set up the website so that we can get the designs digitally so people can use them as wallpapers and shit. I want to do this membership thing uh, where people can sign up I don't know what membership fee is going to be, but by the month, sign up, and that means before any drop, you get, we're literally like a week before the drop, going to send you an a itemized drop list, like a lookbook and a drop list. You fill it out like fucking Girl Scout cookies. That's great. Send it back, uh, and then, but you have to send it back within, you know, a time frame. We'll do like a 48 hour time frame that you have to have your shit back in. Then you don't have to worry about it on drop day. There though, the yeah. main idea of having a membership service, we'll figure out how, what works the best, but we gotta do that. Yeah, man, it's like now this is a different brand too. It's like for the people that have been here from the beginning, you know, and the people that have supported and want to support and don't want to miss things, we don't want them to miss it either. We're not doing this to like yeah. be hype and be and, like, oh, you missed and, the job, sorry, bro. Like, it, yeah, and the reality is, like the real reality is, I don't like doing I don't like fucking getting in line. I don't like trying to get online to buy anything. Like when it's a rush, I use other people, you know, yeah. other people go for me. It's also just like annoying, like I don't want people to be annoyed. I want to really create this crazy anxiety. Like you still have to act quickly. Like it's not like yeah. it's going to sit up there for six months or no. anything, you know, but no. you still have to order, like the drops move. And but we're dude, on to be on now the way that we're doing this, not having our own shop, there is no more, um, oh fuck, you know, can we reprint 10 of them and do a quick restock for these guys no. that we, like, yeah, that's done so, now. so yeah. now at least these members, we're guaranteeing that whatever fucking clothing mm -hmm. they like and want, it's yours. Yeah, yeah. We're not you're trying to have you miss it. You're the first access. Like if I were somebody that was buying every drop, every other drop, why wouldn't you do that? Drops get down to like once a month, twice a month, maybe, maybe once every other month. See, and that, that one day there's a drop on something you're waiting for for a month and you got a wedding, you know, you're like what the so i just like thinking about all these things that i hate yeah. going through myself i just yeah. don't want to do this anymore like that it's just yeah. not how i want to do that for the regular drop it also like opens up the stock for people who that way that the regular drop's not so frantic a lot of the die yes. cards are getting what they want off top the stock can go to the rest of the masses yeah. that you know are finding out we're also going to work on the uk supplier for some of this shit. that's a good idea that's a good idea i might even know some people yeah i figure between the two of us yeah, they don't. What is that? Oh, my running band. I need it. I can't hold it in my pockets. The shit slams against your legs. I need to listen to Kodak the whole way. I need to run to Kodak. <laughs> Why, I wonder. It's gonna be a horrible run. I'm just forcing myself yeah, to do you're it. Yeah, <laughs> By the way, this $100 bill from yesterday, they're fake.
You know how I know some people don't watch the vlog and then they comment? Showing up in the vlog at least 10 times. Bro, these are all fake. I, I told the story like two weeks ago. Fake, 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 fake. I don't flex, dog. I don't have to flex money. You know what I'm saying? If there's more things to flex than money, if I was gonna flex, I don't think that that's how I would do it. I don't think I'd feed it to my dog. So yeah, guys, come on. Let's character traits here. It's not really my style. Spray these blocks. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. I sprayed them. Morning is over. It is now, well, it's 11.44 a.m. Finally getting done with most of the shit that I have, the busy stuff that I have to sit down and draw and paint for pretty much the rest of the day. It's pretty tight. I'm probably gonna start by making a beat because I like to just warm up my brain and stuff. When I get a day where I can just be creative, instead of making myself be like, okay, work on that, you know, instead of making it not fun, I just fuck around until something is fun. And then when it's fun, I turn it into something. So, and I already have this drawing that I'm gonna put on this big board, so I don't have to really like think about that too much right now. Uh, as far as diet goes too, uh, soda has been non-existent. It's literally just Perrier, Roar, green tea and tea and water, like regular water. I've been on point with diet. Working out has been harder for sure with everything going on. I, but now that I have the bench out there, it's been good. Like I can go out there and just do sets. You know, I don't necessarily go out there for an hour or anything, but sometimes I just wake up in the morning, do a quick warm up set and before my last meal, do another like set. So I haven't been like crazy in there, but I'm just, just sh there's tons of shit happening. But also working on, I wanna get like a full on gym in there. I think that'd just be like a life dream. So that's what we were talking about earlier. Uh, we're reaching out to a couple of companies to see if they wanna like help, sponsor, whatever. Cause why not? I haven't broke like diet or whatever. And I don't think I have since it started. Uh, maybe like random little bullshit here and there, but nothing, no moments where I've been like, oh, I'm gonna order a pizza or anything, no, nothing like that's happened. Which I've explained is because I just genuinely, genuinely like what I'm eating. Uh, but the other night I ran out of food, like completely had nothing here but enough shit to make a salad. I already had a salad that earlier that day. I had a moment where I was gonna order a pizza because I was like, you know, I'm, just, I, I, I'm starving, you know, I gotta eat. There was also Brunswick stew left that my mom had sent, which everybody knows is one of my favorites, but it's packed sugar. There's like barbecue sauce and all kinds of shit in there. So I warmed some of it up and I took like one bite. I can't do this. And then I went and had my salad. So everything's been on point. I just haven't really been able to get into the gym as much as I'd like to. So that's how I make a rough beat. So that sounds crazy. The sounds are everywhere. Nothing is mixed, nothing is mastered. It's only like a four bar loop. So what I do is I make it in machine. You can do all kinds of stuff in machine. You can like make different patterns and make it do its thing. And this thing's great for live. Sometimes I'll sit here and make a live beat that's not recorded and it's awesome and it's just an experience. It's cool. So people do it shows. But what I'll generally do is when I like a beat or a vibe, I'll take that, throw it into like Logic or Pro Tools, then arrange it, then add more stuff. It really changes, but that's just my brick. It's, I think of this beat as a brick of clay and then I just mold it from there. So it's a little bit of beat making. My phone is blown up. I think I'm having a lunch date. But I might have a lunch to go to, which I'm not even eating yet, but I might have a lunch to go to. Transferring this on here by hand is annoying because this composition, I really like it. That, that's like kind of what makes it to me. Uh, so I can either go and blow this up to the size I need it. And I could do that here with my copier and just like paste all this shit together. I don't want to do that. I could blow the whole thing up at Kinko's or FedEx office, whatever the fuck they call it. Put it down, use some Sorrel paper and transfer it. Or I can get a projector. And you can get like a projector for probably not that much money on Amazon. So I'm gonna probably do that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I thought I was gonna get a chance to draw all day, but 
I don't. Uh, Aaron's not here. They're shipping out all those mystery bags and the 4th of July shirts and the Happy Pride shirts are all... The happy, uh, hopefully everything's gonna be out here by Friday. Most of it will be gone by tomorrow. They'll definitely have everything by 4th of July. Uh, today is technically the last day of me and Sager working together. It's just been like all over the place. I've been on the phone also because I'm moving everything, as you guys know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I've been on the phone a lot, and every time I sit down to try and draw, I haven't been able to draw. And Brandy and Ern have been working super hard to get this mystery bag drop done, and so I offered to take them to dinner. They're gonna take a break, you know, at like after the post office closes, well, post office closes in an hour. So they're gonna take a break around dinner time. I'm gonna take them out to dinner and then they're gonna go back and work more. I actually have to get out of here, start editing this vlog so I can get it up before we go to, so I didn't even get a chance to really draw today, but I think I'll probably have, tomorrow me and Ern just have a ton of planning to do. So I'll probably do a lot of drawing then. Maybe after dinner I'll do some drawing, but I don't, I didn't get anything done on the vlog today. That happens, but um, I had fun nonetheless. So, um, all right, so that's the day pretty much. I don't think there's anything else to update you on. That's it, I think that's really it. And then the website is down. Well, it's not down, there's still like a sign up form, but um, I'll let, I'll keep you guys updated when the next drop will be. It'll be in a couple of weeks at least. So um, enjoy the break. I know a lot of you have been buying, 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 buying. And we also have, uh, as I stated earlier, we're working on a membership program where you don't have to really worry too much about what's coming out, like you'll be able to get it, so. All right, anyway, that's today. Love you guys. Stressed out, these texts out. Bless how they hate now. Backed up with black scuffs, they ain't trying to test now. Save that, these prayer songs. Back in there wrong. Stay strapped with a safe cap, no pain.